Hello, we have a viewer. So as you can probably tell from the title of the video, it is my birthday and I thought I'd crack this beer here. A fistful of cherries from 8Y Brewing. Uh, it's a sour ale with Marlborough cherries aged in wine barrels and it was made in 2016, so coming up for a couple of years, probably more like 18 months old. Um, so if you guys that don't know, 8 Wide's probably one of the uh, uh, the best breweries in New Zealand. And as far as sour beers go, they're right up the, the top there. Um, yeah, so this one's been sitting in the sitting in the fridge for a while. I've got a bad habit of hanging on to uh, beers like this, um, and I should just drink them. And it's my birthday, so what better reason than to uh, to crack it open? So cheers, guys. Throw us a message if you're watching and let us know what the quality is like. Oh, little hiss off the top, not too much. Nice, where are we? Hey David, thank you David. So there we go, the old 8Y, make a nice looking little cap. So we'll pour this up. So hopefully this has got better with age rather than uh, you know, going past its peak. I'll do a little bit more. Hey Kermit, how's it going? A bit slow is it? The stream's a bit slow. So check out the colour of that. So I'm sitting outside, it's about quarter past eight um, on the 15th. But we've still got enough light to pick up that beautiful, uh, beautiful, obviously cherry colour, as the name suggests. Um, bit of a, a ring of head there, nothing too major. Uh, what else can I tell you? So, oh, okay, so it was barrel aged for two years, so 2016, so I'm assuming this was barreled in 2014. Um, or it could have been barrel and 20. <laughs> oh, cheers, David. Um, yeah, Marlborough Cherry, so they're in the South Island, New Zealand. Um, but the brewery is up here, probably only 45 minutes away from where I live. So, yeah, let's get a, get a nose on it. Oh, Ooh, that smells beautiful. Reminds me a bit of like a Flanders red. Um, I had a Flanders um, at the Dunedin Beer Festival from Craftworks, I think it was, and the smell is fairly similar. I don't know whether it was intended to sort of come out like a Flanders, but oh, smells beautiful, nice and sour, and getting the cherry cherry aroma as well. I think um, me hanging on to it for a while has uh, probably uh, made the beer, um, yeah, probably develop and turn into a much better beer. Oh yeah, it's got a nice mouth puckering sourness up front. Oh, that's good. Really sour. I like really, really mouth puckering sour beers, and this one is fitting the bill beautifully. And you're getting those cherries as well. Yeah, it's sort of like a sweet, sweet cherry. Um, but yeah, fantastic. What else can I tell you about the beer? What's the ABV? 6.7 in a nice big 500 ml bottle from memory I think it was about 16 17 dollars something like that cheers Kermits yeah thought I'd crack it open finally instead of sitting in it, just letting it sit in the fridge but beautiful evening it's been raining here for the last probably nearly on and off for the last four or five days so we've had a beautiful day the sun's just dipping down over the back of the 
roofs and um, yeah, it's cooled down a bit. Mm. Well, that's stunning. I think some other people I know have had this um, maybe when it was a little bit younger, but um, yeah, hopefully some people have hung on to it for a while. Yeah, Kermit's been a been a nightmare, eh? But I think they said tonight it might be a little bit cooler overnight, so um, yeah, be looking forward to that. So it says this is a, a sour ale that's been brewed in the Belgian tradition. Yeah, barrel aged for two years on mulberry cherries, vibrant flavours of funk and fruit. Contains a fistful of cherries per bottle. There we go there. So yeah, haven't been up to much today on my birthday, unfortunately I had to work. Um, couldn't get the day off, but um, tomorrow I'm hopefully going out after work. Um, uh, Deep Creek have got a food truck, um, they call it Food Truck Fridays, they run it once a month up at their brewery. Um, so you can try different foods from different food trucks and then they're also serving their beers up on tap so yeah it's a good evening and then if you're in Auckland um, on Saturday and you're stuck for something to do there's the session beer challenge at um, Brothers Beer uh, over in the city so I think they've got 18 different session beers um, from 18 different breweries and then it will just be one overall champion so um, yeah, looking forward to that and hopefully get to try most of them. 18, yeah, might have to do, maybe they can do some little tasters um, so we can get through the whole 18. Oh, cheers, Chris and Greer. Thank you, Greer. So we've got Chris from No Quarter Brewing. We've got uh, Kermit and David. So, yeah, this is a fantastic beer. Um, Chris, I think you've had this, but um, I was saying before you might have had it when it was a bit younger, but um, uh, yeah, this super mouth puckeringly tart. Hey, is that nuts? Yeah, same here, mate. I imagine Hamilton be the same. First decent day for a while. Um, so yeah, Chris, that's yeah, real nice mouth puckering. Uh, and it has got that sort of bit of funk going on. Well, it's beautiful. But it would be very easy to knock that back in a hurry, but I'll try and savour it. So, yeah, what have you guys been up to? Anything interesting? Anyone got any brews on the go at the moment? Uh, Chris is on the mill. Yeah, you need to get down to um, Hamilton Nuds and just check out Good George. I've been down there once uh, a year or two back, and yeah, it's a nice, nice little um, setup they've got there. Um, yeah, so if you guys got any brews on the on the go, let me know. So my first brew for three months that's just been bottled up. Flying FPV, so that's got to be the old Falcon, is it? for performance vehicles. Um, yeah, so my first beer in three months is bottled up, the American Wheat, and if you saw my previous video, I've got a new magnet magnetic drive um, pump, so I'm hoping to do a brew, not this weekend, but the f uh, following weekend. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do at this stage. Oh, you're flying an FPV. Oh, sorry, I, I saw FPV and I was thinking of for performance vehicles, isn't there a Falcon FPV or something? Um, so yeah, that's about it really. I don't want to drag the video on too long because um, I'm sure some people will watch it back later on. Rocking the old cold stream um, bottle opener from uh, Victoria over in Oz. If anyone's around that way, uh, nice little brewery, went there a couple of years ago. Uh, cheers Sean, just tucking into this beer here, um, if you haven't tried it, it's a really nice drop, beautiful tart um, taste to it, and, and the cherries are coming through really well. One thing I might do before we duck off is I'll take you for a walk, and we'll go and check out the um, 
check out the hop plant, hey? And then I'll sign off. Caribbean Porter. That sounds good, David. Nothing wrong with kits, mate. Um, some of the best beers I've had have been kits, especially if you add a few bits to them. So yeah, I'll just show you the hot plant around here. I'll flick it around. So yeah, you can see, I'll start at this end. So you can see the hot cones are coming through. It's quite a, so I've, I've let it grow, um, try and refocus it. So yeah, I've let it grow horizontally, so it's about 20 feet of um, bind there. Getting some nice big cones coming through, hopefully you can see that. Yeah, yeah, really happy, so probably about six or seven, um, six or seven meters I'd say. I'll, I'll stand back and give you a good estimate, good view of the whole thing. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so hopefully we get a crop in about a month's time, so we'll just uh, we'll go back to the uh, grapevine over there. Ah, sorry about the autofocusing, it's not, it's a bit slack for some reason. Yeah, it's the first year I've had any cones on the... Um, on the hot plant, so I got it three years ago from Graham Baker down in uh, Lower Hutt and first couple of years, yeah, I was watering it and tending it and feeding it and all I got was a whole lot of leaves and no cones, but for some reason and I think it does take a few years for the um, uh, for the hot plant to, to establish itself um, so yeah, this year, if, and we've had plenty of rain which has probably helped uh, yeah, it's just taken off, so I'm hoping I'll get enough um, enough cones for um, at least one brew. Uh, what breed is it? It's called a Danscade, which is a Cascade crossed with a wild um, New Zealand hop. Uh, they don't know, the wild New Zealand hop doesn't have a name as such, so yeah, they just call it Danscade. Um, so hopefully it's like Cascade, hopefully it's got some citrus sort of um, characters to it as well, so that will be good. Okay guys, I think I'll stop there, um, thanks for watching, it's good to see we've got six people watching, that's um, up from my normal <coughs> sort of three or four, and um, it's probably my own fault, I never sort of announced that I'm doing a live stream, I just sort of launched straight into it, so thanks again for watching, thanks for the birthday wishes, I'm going to sit on the rest of this, so it's still quite a bit left. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Cheers, David, Kermit, Nuds, uh, Chris, Sean. Who else do we have there? I think that's everyone. Sorry if I missed anyone out. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, catch you next time. Over and out.